We have time for just two more questions. If we can get one from each side, then right here. Uh, Dr. Ali, my question is about uh, your view of abrogation uh, you put forward in the debate. Uh, basically, you cited Jesus as a precedent when talking about the Jewish convert to Islam. Uh, they were telling him not to keep the kosher laws anymore, not not uh, keep Sabbath, to submit completely to uh, following those laws. And also, you said uh, you cited Jesus as a precedent, you know, about your view of the uh, Quran abrogating previous revelations, so the Torah and the uh, Gospels. So my question is, do you think your view could stand if Jesus didn't abrogate Torah and he was fully Torah observant? Because it seems like in the modern New Testament, uh, New Testament scholarship, that's where the consensus is moving, or it's already there, that he was uh, fully Torah observant. So basically, did Jesus eat pork? Thank you. Uh, actually, the way the Mishnah Quran puts this is that the, Jesus came to preach to his people, saying to them, that I should make permissible for you some of that which was previously made impermissible for you. But whether that was in the actual laws of the Torah or in the oral tradition, this is not stated in the Quran. And it is possible that Jesus was a, a Torah observant Jew, and, uh, and, and that's what history represents him to be, and how much of that he challenged. <coughs> Uh, it's not so very clear from a historical point of view, but generally history comes in uh, with the view that Jesus was a Jew. He lived in, and preached in the Jewish milieu, and he and his early followers were following the Torah, uh, even right down to the kosher laws. And now the question arose as to what is to be done with the Gentiles. Uh, should we impose on them the same laws? And only four food laws were imposed on the Gentiles, including you cannot eat the meat of strangled animals or meat that is sacrificed to idols uh, or the dead animals. And uh, this was uh, a, a, a ruled in a church council in, in Jerusalem under the headship of uh, James, the brother of the Lord, in chapter 15 of Acts. Uh, and then that message was given to Paul to go and preach to everyone, uh, which means that the early church were still Torah observant, at least in, in Palestine. And now we want to know how did this message get changed from, uh, from Judaism to Christianity? How did Christianity become a non-Torah observant uh, religion? Uh, some passages are cited in the, in the Gospels to show that Jesus himself uh, abrogated the food, food laws. For example, Mark chapter 7. But when we go to Matthew's rendition of that, uh, we see that Matthew is leaning in on the side of following the Torah. And in the same episode, Matthew is not giving the impression that Jesus abrogated the food laws. The book of Revelation shows that when Jesus comes back, he's going to blame all of those churches who ate the meat of, that are sacrificed to idols, which means that Jesus wants his church to continue observing the food laws.